Years 1932, the world is caught in a depression. Up here in the Northwest, we're no different. We felt it too. But a bunch named Stremlers went and tore down a fairground in Sumas and built a barn out here in the middle of nowhere. You might see this from the grounds from behind Safeway Red Apple here at Everson. They tore down the fairgrounds and the rodeo grounds in Sumas. And the Stremlers hauled all that lumber out here and used it to build this barn. It's a beautiful barn. It has some uniqueness about it. And really, the roof is about all that saved this barn. Now the property was bought by the Hookama family in 1952. They bought it so they could have easement in the back of their fields and add the property of the land from this farm to theirs. barn isn't used much anymore. In 1962, a very young Percy Hookema started his herd out in this barn. He can milk 30 cows at a time. I'm sure Percy had to update and add a few things just to just to get started. This is an old vacuum line. That pipe used to hold the vacuum that would milk the cows. This was the milk house and unchecked renters and vandals have filled the milk house full of garbage. But the building itself is still in good strong shape. It's a beautiful old milk house. And we had a flood come through here a couple of years ago or a couple of months ago, excuse me. And this silt is about a foot deep in here. The Nooksack River went right through the barn. Here's a valve that he used to hook the vacuum line up to. And I believe this particular one is the kind that held the pulsator. Instead of having the pulsator on top of the milk can 
it hooked at the vacuum line itself. This is what they call a dry room. Farmers would keep their grain in here. But also, this room held the compressor. A vacuum pump compressor. That little gizmo is what sucked the milk out of the cows. It's still a good sturdy barn. These timbers were part of the old rodeo grounds, part of the old fairgrounds in Sumas. Stremlers built this place 1932-33. They farmed here for about 18 years. And then he had a stroke. At least I was told he couldn't farm no more. So him and his wife moved into Linden. Live with his sister. There's still another building right there, but I don't know what it is. These are big timbers. And they go halfway across the, the full length of the barn. Those are some big timbers. Somebody had calves in here at one time, tried to raise calves. You see an old bottle holder right there. Vacuum line down both sides. loft. This is called a cage. It kept you from walking off into the oblivion. Always around the door. One spot will be open. The rest of it will be have braces or something across it to keep you from falling through it. And usually they went right to the top. This one still has the trolley and track still in the door. See way up above the door a trolley and a track up there for bringing hay in. This barn had a lot of a lot of room in it. I can't get over the size of these timbers. This was a big double door. Used to be a lot wider and another one just like it hanging there. Would have made easy access into that loft. So some renters letting their fireworks set the barn on fire. It burned off the siding had a little bit of fire inside. So Percy had the fireman cut a hole through the wall, put the fire out completely. But new siding, I think the barn can be fixed. This is a silo. Normally you would get to it from inside the parlor, but the door wouldn't come open, so 
I had to go outside to show you. It has three phase. It means there's some hot power needed to run something. And what is that something? A spider. This is a silo spider. It goes and it travels down the pile of silage. They're a bugger to get up on top when the silo's full. But it travels down the, the silage pile, peeling off a foot at a time all the way around. And it spits it out a chute. So the farmer doesn't have to get up in the silo and fork it out. This thing does it for you. It's not completely automated. You still have to adjust it after every so many feet. This reach you see going from the spout to the silo right here. That's the spout. This is the reach. You have to adjust that. Every time you go down so far, you have to adjust that back. Long ways up there, isn't it? Can you imagine climbing that ladder all the way to the top and opening a silo up just to fork it out? Each one of these holes had a little door in it. You had to open each door. It's a beautiful day when I recorded this. The grass is tall as I am. Incidentally, the house, this entire place is recycled. That house was moved from the other side of town. Percy, back in 62, found a letter. It was written from a man up in Canada to his wife when that house was in the middle of Everson. I want to thank the Hookama family for letting me record their barn.